Hello and welcome back to Racing 101, where today you'll learn how to master any track in F122. Let's get started. To begin, let's take a look at a handy in-game feature you can use to learn your favourite track layouts in F122. The Track Acclimatization Practice Program. You can use this program during free practice sessions in My Team, Career and Weekly Events. When you start this program you'll see a series of gates around each turn. One on the entry, one on the apex and one on the exit. Pass through a gate cleanly and it'll turn green. Pass through it cleanly and quickly and it'll turn purple. You gain points after passing a gate and will have a set of score targets to beat. The higher the score, the better your understanding of a track's layout. Try to chain multiple good corners together for higher scores. While the Track Acclimatization Practice Program is an excellent tool to get started with, to truly master a track we need to put in the research and that starts with a track walk. Head into Time Trial and pick a track you want to master. We'll use Monza today because it's an easy one to learn. For your first few laps, drive around at very slow speed, around second gear or so. Take a look around while you drive and keep an eye out for things like where the runoff areas are, which corners have grass on the outside and what the curbs feel like. As you get close to a corner, stop at the 150 meter board and approach the corner even more slowly. Here, you should be looking around for various objects you can use as a braking reference. Any static object will be useful, such as the marker boards, the edge of fences, lines on the road and so on. Everything you keep note of or write down now will help you as you pick up speed, so now let's try going a little faster. Now that we have a basic understanding of the track layout and a few reference points for each corner, it's time to put this knowledge into practice. Start doing a few laps where you go no higher than 4th gear. This is faster than before but still gives you plenty of time to think about each corner as you approach it. If you're using the racing line assist which we discussed in the previous video, that can help you position your car on the road but try to use your reference points for braking instead of the line for now. Your goal with these laps is to find a smooth line through each corner of the track. Pick out your reference points for each corner and try to brake or turn as soon as you hit them. Eventually, this will become second nature and you don't need to think about it at all. Once you feel comfortable with each corner, try to do laps in as high as 5th or 6th gear and see if you can spot your braking markers at higher speeds. If you make a mistake or brake too late, Use the flashback feature to rewind to before a turn and try again. You may need to brake slightly earlier through the turns after long straights, but you'll soon find a sweet spot and be able to take each corner faster than before. Let's finish now by doing some full speed laps around the circuit. By now you should know the track very well and have built up enough confidence to take the corners quickly, so let's use all of the car's gears now to find our ultimate pace. Take each corner now as fast as you can and see how far you can push the car before you lose control. Spot your reference points early and hit them every time. Try taking some corners flat out as well, and if it's not possible then try lifting off the throttle and going through a turn without using the brakes. You may find that some turns can be taken very quickly in this way. If you tried to drive this quickly at the start of this video, you may have struggled quite a lot. But since you've put in the practice and built up your confidence in stages, you should feel more at ease with your driving. This frees up your mind to not worry about making each turn so much, letting you think about the other aspects of a Grand Prix, such as race strategy, tyre management and how to overtake your rivals. Now that we've mastered a track layout, we can think about how to adjust our lines in the context of a race. In a hot lapping situation, you have the entire track to yourself and can take the optimal racing lines, but that's not always possible in a race as there might be a car in the way. If you know what to do when you're forced to take a suboptimal racing line, however, you'll be prepared for anything a race throws at you. Head back into Time Trial one last time, but for now, try taking corners using only the inside line or only the outside line. Take note of how early or late you have to brake now, how much you have to steer through the turns, and how early you can get back on the throttle. After doing this, you'll know what the best and worst lines are for each corner and how to deal with them. You can use this to your advantage in a battle, by dealing with tricky corners when your line is compromised or placing your car in such a way that your opponent has to take the slower line. For more tips and tricks on how to learn a circuit, be sure to watch the hot lap videos on our channel, as well as previous F1 esports events to see how the game's best players approach each circuit. You can subscribe to get more tutorials in future and I wish you the best of luck in your next race.